Hello and welcome to GoTo Tech Reviews. I'm back from a small hiatus after being bogged down with some life stuff, but I'm back and today we will be looking at the tempered glass and RGB adorned Rosewell Cullinan MX case. This mid-tower ATX case has two tempered glass side panels as well as one in the front for a total of three. The glass has no apparent tint and looks highly transparent. Right off the bat you will see the front has large vents on the side for plenty of airflow to keep things cool, something that can be overlooked by other manufacturers that use a lot of tempered glass. The I.O. is located at the top near the front and has a three speed fan switch, headphone and mic jacks, power and reset buttons, two USB 3.0 and two USB 2.0 ports. I was very pleased with the I.O. arrangement for this case overall and liked that it wasn't attached to the front panel of the case. The top has a magnetic filter and supports up to a 280mm radiator or up to 240mm fans. The holes are nicely offset to allow maximum motherboard clearance which is nice to see. The front side panel is held on with four thumb screws and the tempered glass rests on rubber mounts which makes for easy removal and installation. Once the side panel is removed, you are welcome to a well thought out and spacious interior which supports up to standard ATX motherboards. There is also room for graphics cards up to 360mm long and CPU coolers up to 170mm tall. One of the other defining features of the case is the four included RGB 120mm fans with one in the rear exhaust and three up front. The PSU shroud area is now improved over the original Colonin series and now has cutouts at the bottom for easier access to the bottom motherboard connectors. There are two plates on top of the shroud for mounting 2.5 inch drives and the side has unique mounts for three 80mm fans, something I've never really seen before. If nothing else, it provides some ventilation over the area covered by the shroud. One minor gripe I have is the side cutout does not have rubber grommets, especially for a flagship case. The cutout is also not quite tall enough so I had to do some maneuvering for some components. The rear has a standard PSU mount along with 8 standard expansion slots with 2 vertical expansion slots for a vertical GPU mounting, but that kit is purchased separately. Also, if you are not using the vertical mount, keep in mind that you will need to remove this bit, especially for tall graphics cards which I ended up having to do with the 980 Ti Classified. Also keep in mind the airflow constraints when having a vertically mounted GPU in a tempered glass case like this. The bottom has a pull out dust filter dedicated for power supply input and is something you don't appreciate until you run into a case that doesn't have one. Moving along to the rear side panel, it is also tempered glass and uses the same screw and mount configuration as the front side panel. This is the first time I've ever built in a case where the cable management in the back was exposed when the build was done, so I needed to pay extra attention to detail when doing my cable management. The back panel layout is well thought out and is rather roomy for cable management, with a large cutout for easy CPU cooler access. All the cables from the front I.O. and the fan and RGB controller are already hooked up and tied down on the left side. I really appreciate that here with the Cullinan MX because on other cases I've seen these cables get in the way of other cable management, so I definitely appreciate the attention to detail here. For storage, there is a drive cage that can hold two toolless sleds that can either house two 2.5 inch drives or two 3.5 inch drives. Moving more toward the center, there are two sleds for two 2.5 inch drives that are held in by thumb screws. I really like this kind of design and I'm glad to see this kind of trend continue on into 2017 and 2018. The fan and RGB controller is actually pretty neat as it is held on magnetically which works extremely well. Also the fans and RGB lights are also pre-installed so it was nice to have it hooked up and ready to go. The only downfall here is that the blasted Molex connector that just does not want to go away and I really wish they would use a SATA power connector. The front is heavier than usual due to it featuring tempered glass. I found that it was easy to remove with what felt to be the appropriate amount of force. The front has a magnetic filter which is easy to access and clean which I can appreciate. The front can support up to a 360mm radiator or three 120mm fans. Here's another look at the pre-installed RGB 120mm fans. The case rests on tall rubber feet which allows a lot of room for breathability and good airflow. One of the features that I wanted to showcase with the Colon and MX is the RGB controller with the included remote. Let's take a quick look and see what options are available for the color modes.
In conclusion, I love the Cullinan MX. Rosewill has a solid flagship case on their hands here, and at the time of this writing, it retails for about $129 US dollars and packs in a lot of features for that price, including wraparound tempered glass panels, an RGB controller and four included RGB fans, an optional vertical GPU mount, and ample room for cable management. It wasn't without its minor frustrations, however. For example, the interior cutouts are small and ungrommeted. Tall GPUs require the removal of the installed vertical GPU mounting brackets, and the lack of software RGB control are just a few of the things that I noticed while building in this case. With all of that said, Rosewill has made a worthy flagship tempered glass case that gives the big boys a run for their money. I have a couple other videos currently in the works that should be out in the next couple of weeks, so stay tuned and thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.